So hello good people of the internet, this is Tommy Kelly and this is the Tommy Kelly Podcast. Yet again trying this video thing out, see how it goes. What I have found is that it makes me slightly more, not paranoid, but more aware because I use, uh, I use my notes. And when you're doing it with just recording, you can kind of make it look like you're uh, doing it more off the top of your head because you can't see... I, I don't read like an old person, but you can see that you're reading and stuff like that. So it just makes me a bit more aware of myself. So it is what it is, which interestingly brings me to the topic of this podcast, which is about criticism and it's about giving, taking and criticism in general in regards to art or creativity. So um, let's get into that. So this all came about because a friend of mine on Facebook, after I posted up earlier in the week um, my photographs that I was entering into the competition in the Dundalk Photography Society next week. I'm just learning photography. It's all kind of new to me. I just got my first camera in July. This one here that's in front of me. And I got it mostly for as a hobby, something that I would enjoy, something that would be a new creative outlet, all of those things that I've talked about before. So I put these up and I just put them up, to, it's, my, it's to have a sense of completion. That's it, it's done, it's out of the way. You know, people like them, they like them. If they don't like them, they don't like them. But um, so I got some, f some feedback, some criticism or something from a friend of mine. And I was kind of, I said, this is good. This, is, this has been an interesting thing to talk about. And it's interesting in that how my opinion has changed about criticism over the years and how I approach it and how I... Um, you know, how I receive it or whatever. And the thing, the first thing I want to say about criticism is there's kind of feels like there's an obligation on the person who is receiving the criticism to take it, whether or not it's good criticism or not. Because it's like the onus is on the creative person to take on board what other people say. And I kind of issue with that because um, why? Why is the onus on the person to, to graciously be told, you know, uh, that this is, you know, whatever's wrong with your, your thing? Because no one might be wrong. It's just opinion. It's someone's opinion. And that's all criticism can ever really be, unless something is like ridiculously bad. Like, it, like and then there is, like there's a, all things being equal, it's just opinion. And that took me a long while to realize that just because someone said something or pointed something out to you, it doesn't, their opinion or their ideas shouldn't have more weight in your mind than your own as a creative individual. And it's very hard to respond to someone who's giving you some sort of criticism, for want of a better word, without sounding like you're being negative or defensive or, um, you know, someone who can't take criticism or a horrible person or whatever it is. It's like if someone goes, you've uh, done a guitar solo and you record guitar solo, you're, and you know, you're happy with it. You're happy with it. This is the thing. If you're happy with it, if you're content with it, if you think it's a good representation of your soul as a creative person, if you think it's shit, then this is a different story. Uh, but if you give it and someone then says, well, I, you know, over that G chord, you really should have been playing, I don't know, Lydian rather than, you know, you're playing Mixolydian or whatever it is. And that like, the kind of, my response to that is, okay. That's your opinion. You go and make your own song. You go and do your own guitar solo and do that. Because that's how you want to express yourself. I want to express myself with Lydian over G. Um, so one of the things that my friends had said to me as this is a form of criticism was, I don't like the composition. And that was it. And I was going like, in my head going, it didn't like a nice way, not a nice way. It's like kind of going, and what? And so what that you don't like the composition? What am I meant to do with that? Go, oh, you know what? Because you don't like the composition, <laughs> I should change the whole thing. I should change my mind about me liking the composition. And I was going like, no, that's not helpful. A helpful criticism is like, going back to the guitar solo, is that uh, G note that you've done, it's slightly out of key. You know, it's unique. You should have done your tuning better. Or, um, you know, it's it's that bend on that note, you know, you, you, didn't, you didn't get there, you didn't get whatever. Or, if so, you know, your novel, th that grammar's wrong, that spelling's wrong, or you, in that piece or whatever, or that's not clear enough, I don't understand that, that kind of thing. But not, I don't like the composition. Like, that is the equivalent to me of someone going, I don't like the color blue. And I'm going, 
and was. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not going to stop using the colour blue because, you know, you don't like it. But there is this onus that it seems and this pressure on creative people to have to accept what other people say about their work or else they're not being gracious or else, you know, oh, he can't take any criticism. And the thing that I would like to say to people who are given criticism or who feel the need that they have to tell other people why they, you know, why there's something wrong or something, you know, that they would have done different is, is if you're going to give criticism, you have to be able to also accept that that person won't agree with you and can just say, no, I don't agree with that. And you have to be okay with that. And most people giving criticism don't, aren't at all. They don't seem to have, you know, they say, because I'm telling you this, or, you know, you, sh you have to take this because my opinion is right. And this comes back to the thing that really annoys me about people. And I'm a person, I'm including myself in this as a person. I'm you know, not exempt from any of these things that I talk about. On the road to being a perfect person, hopefully someday, chances are I won't be. But um, it's like when that thing when I talked before about when I was I'm going on a diet or I'm going to do exercise, and then these you get these messages and things, people demanding that their way is the way to do it, and the only way to have to do a diet or the only way to do exercise is this. And if you say, well, I counting calories is the only thing I work, they can't get that. They don't understand because it's outside. They can't see past their experience or something. And I find that odd, and um, that someone would, you know, have such an opinion about how the world works that they'd so force it onto someone else, even when the other person says, that doesn't work in my life. This works, that doesn't, but there still is this force. So it's like when it comes to criticism of, say, again, go back to a guitar solo, that people don't seem to be able to see that their tastes aren't universal tastes or their ideas about diet aren't universal that their ideas are of exercise or magic or films or whatever like like it's weird that people just don't like that film shit and you go well it's not shit you just didn't like it no it's shit and you're going like really do, do, do you, you can't see past your own opinion and it's just something that obviously i did for years because i was a person said everything was shit uh, that i didn't like and you know uh, and then I, I changed it to I just don't get that. I, you know, it's like I was, there was a, a song out or whatever, and I just, I was, my initial reaction was with that shit. It was like a boy band, something, whatever. And then I just had a thought going, well, it's obviously not shit because, you know, 20 million people bought it, enjoy it, get value out of it. Um, lots of people would say it's their favorite song, whatever. So it's not shit. I, I can't give it a value. I just, I just don't understand it. I don't get it. It's not my taste. It's not my thing. But to then critique it as being shit says more about me, I think, than other people. And the thing also about criticism and what I've experienced, over, I just want to point out, this is from uh, unsolicited criticism. People just telling you things when you haven't asked. If it's a case that you're working for someone or do something for like a client or something else, and they criticize our feedback. Different story, they're totally right. You're getting paid to do something or someone else is hiring you to do something. Your, your value, your taste, your judgments, all that, out the window, it's theirs, totally. Which is why it can be very frustrating as a creative person um, to work with someone and collaborate with other people. I find it hard, um, unless I have the mindset that it's just their thing, um, because you're not you know, you're not putting you into it, you're putting them into it, you're being the, like, in a worse sense, you're being the, the art monkey, the music monkey, the writing monkey, whatever it is for this, for this editor or this client. So completely different. If uh, you've been hired to do it, none of this applies. It's totally whatever they want. But the thing about criticism that when people send it is that no one likes to be told that they're not brilliant at something, ever. So they're already on the defensive when someone starts talking to them about, you know, why they think their piece of art is shit or, you know, needs improvement or whatever it is. So they're already kind of defensive, closed in or whatever. And an awful lot of criticism that I have come across and I see on the internet comes and is presented in an extremely angry, hostile and aggressive manner, which I don't understand. It's like this person, it's like it comes, seems to come from the point of view, this person needs to be taken down a peg or two. This person needs to be, you know, um, 
told how it is. This is for his good. I am going to go in and be heavy handed and all that. And like often the response is, I'm just telling you how it is. Or that's just the, you know, the way it is if you can't handle it and all that. And there's this is huge aggression that people have in giving critique. Not all people, obviously, but it's like, it's weird. I find it weird that it, so much so that I think it probably isn't really criticism. It's trying to, you know, pull people back I'm trying to you know it's not I hate when people go oh it's jealousy because that's just too easy it's way more complicated than that it's not just jealousy but it is like the troll thing or thing of I haven't got somewhere in life so I'm gonna pull this back now it can also come from people who have got somewhere in life and are trying to uh, peep, keep people down and away from what they have achieved like I've come across so many creative people who put other people down so that they remain on this pedestal that they think they have. That was huge in web comics. Like there's a couple of guys really that really do that, really make it hard and, and say very horrible things to up and comers or whatever. Just it feels to keep, to, to send some way to keep their position. So I, it's, you know, it can come from all angles. So what I thought I would do is have some sort of guidelines or rules that if you're going to criticize someone or something, Here's what I would like as a creative, how I would like it to happen. The first one is, if the person hasn't asked for criticism, keep your mouth shut. Don't tell them. Don't, you know, don't send your critique. Because they haven't asked for it, they don't want it, and who are you to send it to them? Like, what, what, what kind of ego is going on there that you think you, you have to tell someone something? It's, it'd be like... Whatever your job is, if you're an accountant or whatever, and then someone just, one of your friends just came in and went, uh, hold on a minute, I think what you're doing there is wrong, and uh, here's why, and all that. And you're going like, fuck off, I'm doing my job, you know, just leave me alone. <laughs> I didn't ask for your opinion. <laughs> so, the first one would be, I would say, I never, ever, ever critique or anything unless someone asks. Directly ask me as well, because um, I just, you know, I know what it's like when, you know, I don't, I don't want to deal with this. I don't, you know. Anyway, the second would be, um, are you qualified to give this? Like, are, are you, it's this whole thing about knowing the difference between giving actual criticism and giving uh, your opinion or your tastes disguised as some sort of criticism. Like, have you done, have you achieved what this person ha is setting out to achieve? Like, if, if you are critiquing or someone's diet and saying you'll never do it, have you actually lost the amount of weight that this person is aiming to do. Have you achieved that? Uh, if you're critiquing someone's novel, have you written a novel? Are you in a position that you can legitimately critique this? Have you recorded a, a song? Have you written a song? Have you done any of these things that you know, you're critiquing or are you just giving your opinion from an unqualified point of view? Now you can still have tastes and you can still go, well in my opinion, I would prefer if the song would up key or whatever, but you're presenting that as opinion rather than actual fact. So, so yeah, and so then the third one is be all, always aware that you are given an opinion rather than a universal thing, because it's all opinion. I've been in positions of um, comic, say I was comic artist for a long while, and people who are, you know, top professionals giving opinions about other things that, it's just, it's just still is taste and it's still opinion rather than it's wrong. It's like someone looking at, at some, in comic art there's an awful lot of this thing where you have to do these forced perspective type things, you know, where the, the, someone's leg or hand will be really up. And I hate it, I hate it. I, I find it very aesthetically displeasing. I never liked it. It's the very first thing that makes me go, oh, here is a comic. You know, it takes me out of the story, takes me out of the thing. But yet, unless you do all these things, your artwork isn't seen as dynamic or whatever. So even people from, you know, if you sh if I showed, say, pages or whatever, and I like, I like mid shots, I like that, that's how I like, I like doing stuff from the point of view of how I see the world. And, if, you know, people go, oh no, you can't, that's, you know, you can't do that, that's not what a comic is, whatever. And I'm going like, that's fine. That's an opinion and maybe I won't get far ahead if I don't do these dynamic shots. But as for my expression of me, as my art, my art thing, I'm going to do what my, my tastes are or whatever. So even if it is a qualified uh, professional opinion, you know, be aware that it's still an opinion. That just because this is the way it's always done or whatever doesn't necessarily mean it's right and all that. And, and belaguring that point, I'll go on. 
Come back to that other thing of it always being hostile and all that. So the next one I would suggest is say things, say it nicely. You know, be nice about it. Now the opposite of this is don't be overly nice about it because that's patronising and that's equally worse. Like, oh, I don't want to say this. And I, oh, it's really... And you're like as if the, you, you're making the person drag it out of them. Be nice about it. You don't have to be hostile. You don't have to be angry. You don't have to be aggressive. Just go, in my opinion, <laughs> from my point of view, um, that guitar solo isn't the best piece of work you've ever done. And here's why, rather than just going, I don't like the chord structure. Explain why, and why you think the, a better chord structure or a better thing would be. Because I don't like it is, well, what, what do you do with that? What is the person meant to do with that? I don't like it. Great, you know, they have to take it gracefully, they have to accept the criticism. I've n I don't know. <laughs> Suggest things that have helped you. Thing I will always do when if someone asks me for feedback, whatever, is that rather than say, oh, you know, your whatever it is, I will go, uh, or like say shadow work or something like people ask me about, you know, how to get, how to make magic work better or whatever. I, I would go, well, go look at these videos. These help me. This is about victims uh, playing the victim. This is about shadow work. This is about thing. Give them somewhere to go and look and develop in the thing rather than just going, you're being a victim. Sort that out. You know, I, I can see that you're just being a victim there. You need to sort that out. Not helpful. Give them the resources. Point them in the direction. Let them work it out for themselves. Or not. If you're going to say something like, that guitar solo, uh, Lydian doesn't really work, back up your claims with, you know, here's some examples of where it didn't work, why it didn't work, why this, uh, why mix Lydian would work better on that thing, rather than just going, you should do this, this, this. Have some sort of backup to it. Understand that just saying, you know, that, that guitar, sorry about all this guitar solo thing that's in my head, that guitar solo is, um, shouldn't be, you know, shouldn't be Lydian, whatever, have, have some examples of why and be able to back up rather than just, again, just giving your opinion. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of all my notes. So basically what it comes down to is that if you are a creative person and uh, people give you criticism, the first thing I would say is you are under absolutely zero obligation to listen to them, believe them, take on board what they say, or anything. You don't have to. Now, if you agree with them, brilliant. If it shows you something that you hadn't seen and go, oh wow, yeah, that is true, awesome. If you don't agree, you don't have to take it on board. If someone, if you love your guitar solo in G, in G Lydian and someone says it should be mixed Lydian or Dorian or whatever, you don't have to take that on board at all, ever. And you don't have to take it gracefully if, if they're not sending it to you grace, gracefully or graciously. If you are someone who likes to criticise other people from a goodness place, from a, a loving place or whatever, just try to do it nicer. Try to be more constructive. Try to actually give criticism rather than your opinion or your tastes. Because your opinion and your tastes aren't what that creative person should be expressing. That's what you should be expressing. That's where your art should be coming from. That's where your creativity should be coming from. Giving your soul, bearing your soul to the world, getting your ideas out there. Don't try to impose your ideas and taste on other people in this, the guise of criticism. Because that's, that's not what it's about. It's about your individual expression of who you are. That's what art is to me. If you're in a position that you are a professional and you, someone asks you for a uh, critique, be nice about it. Don't make them feel shit about it. Like that, that seems to be this critique thing where people need to make people feel a bit shit about what they're doing. You know, and I've seen poor people do portfolio reviews and stuff and devastating the person. And I don't think that's helpful ever. I mean, I think you can get the exact same point across to someone and have them motivated by the end of it, not wanting to give up their life and think, you know, this, as I said before, but, uh, how, you know, how I argue and stuff is like in my head is that I try to get it to a point where you're, you know, the person has a sit down and has a serious think about their life. You know, I've seen people do portfolio reviews where they've done that to people. And I don't think that person has gone home pumped about being an artist or a painter or whatever it is. I think they're going home feeling shitty about their entire lives. So while I think it's important to um, be open to new ideas and to be aware that you aren't always going to have the correct tools or outlooks or facilities to get your ideas out. The artist's opinion is king 
absolute king or queen or non-gendered royalty um, in the end decision of what is good in the art and what is good in the creativity and what is the best thing because it's the artist and remember it's the artist bearing their soul to the world and it's just so easy to shit in that and, and there can be so many reasons why people would do that and it's often not for the artist's best interest. It's often to do with the things I've talked about before, about bringing people down, pushing people, or you know, asserting some sort of their taste, all that stuff I've talked about. So as an artist, as a musician, as a writer, as a fledgling photographer, as someone who has spent his entire adult life Bearing his soul through creativity. I implore you, good people of the internet, to think about what you say to people who are, to creative people or any people who are doing stuff and know that you can crush people very easily, you can demotivate people very easily, you can um, destroy people's creativity very easily. And to try not to do that, to try, if you are giving feedback or critique, not to tell people they're awesome when they're not awesome, I'm not saying that, um, but I probably would come from the point of view of definitely, if someone hasn't asked, don't, don't, tell, don't say anything, and if they have asked, to do it in a way that motivates them rather than destroys or crushes them. And that's easy, it's as easy to do uh, to motivate someone as it is to crush them. And you can still say exact same things. You can, if someone has a uh, terribly out of tune, guitar solo, rather than going, that's totally out of tune, you're an idiot and you should, you know, sit in the corner and think about yourself. Send some videos of, um, you know, the importance of tuning or, uh, you know, of uh, tone or, you know, something that push them in the direction rather than destroy where they're coming from. You know, push them over there where it's good or whatever. And I think that's important. And I think the main thing that I learned about criticism as a creative person is that I don't have to take it if I don't want to. So, yeah. So yeah, that's a bit rambly, which is the norm for the Tommy Kelly podcast. And uh, it's obviously something that um, I have issues with and uh, it's something that I will probably, could be one of these podcasts I look back in five years and go, wow, I, you know, there's, there's a bit of anger, there is a bit of anger there, I'm very aware of that in the, the, that whole thing, and um, don't think I'm not. But if you liked me ranting into a camera, then you can check out, or ranting in general, you can check out the rest of the episodes of the Tommy Kelly podcast, and you can find them on adventuresandwoo.com where you can also find my blog, there's links to the 40 Servants, which is a divination and magic system I have created, there's uh, the links to my Patreon, which you can also get at TommyKelly.com, which is T-O-M-M-I-E. And if you want to help out, um, the money from the Patreon goes to buying new equipment, to upgrading uh, hosting, and all that kind of stuff. So it's you know, your money's going to you know actually make all of this better rather than you know just I don't know giving me money. It's which you know you can also do that if you want. Uh, <laughs> But um, so yeah, Twitter at Tommy Kelly. There's, I'm all over Facebook with the Adventures and Woo page. There is a Forty Servants group. There is a Forty Shadows group that you can get to if you uh, do the Patreon. Um, Instagram. I'm on Flickr. I'm on Pinterest. I'm on uh, 500px. Everywhere. I just like. I mean, you can you can find me all over Strava. Have a look at me on Strava where I run, you know, badly. So yeah. Good people of the internet, um, be kind and nice to each other and help each other out and um, let's all be more creative and let's all be happier and all of those things. And I will talk to you all next week.